For students who are fully committed to careers in medicine, combined programs, those that grant you acceptance to both undergraduate college and medical school, can be a great option. These combined programs allow students to earn a Bachelor of Arts or Science degree and a medical degree and are called BS or BAMD programs. In this video, I'm going to discuss the different lengths of BSMD programs. Are these programs the right choice for you? What makes BSMD programs so competitive? And what can you do to increase your chances of getting accepted? We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. I'm Dr. Jessica Friedman and have spent the last two decades advising students on how to strategically navigate the medical school and BS, BA, MD admissions processes. I was on faculty at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai and founded Med at its medical admissions 12 years ago. My team and I review admissions data and combine this data with our years of admissions experience and wisdom to help students get accepted to these highly competitive programs. BA, BS, MD programs can vary in length. Some are as long as eight years with four years of college and four years of medical school. Some are seven years in length with three years of college and four years of medical school. And a few are six years in length with two years of college and four years of medical school. To be competitive, for BSMD programs, you must have great high school grades and the best standardized test scores. In addition, programs expect you to have sophisticated research experience, exposure to medicine in some capacity, shadowing is the most common, excellence in another area as well, whether in community service, athletics, or the arts. Indeed, successful combined program applicants are often more accomplished than traditional medical school applicants. So let's review the data from one of the most competitive BSMD programs, the Brown Program in Liberal Medical Education, or Brown PLME. Brown received 2,600 applications last year, and 88 of those students were admitted, yielding a 3% acceptance rate. 59 of those accepted students actually enrolled. How did these students perform on the SAT and ACT? Let's take a look. The middle 50% of all admitted students scored between 1450 and 1570 on the math and critical reading portions of the SAT. The middle 50% of admitted students scored between 30 and 35 on the ACT. As I've mentioned, in addition to these impressive numbers, the medical schools associated with the undergraduate portion of the combined programs like to see various activities, including clinical exposure, research, teaching, community service, experience with people of different backgrounds, and work experience. Applicants and parents should realize that some combined programs are not associated with top tier undergraduate colleges. And as we saw with the Brown PLME program, applicants to combine programs tend to be highly motivated, accomplished, and successful people inside and outside the classroom. Therefore, when deciding whether or not to apply to combine programs, students must weigh options understanding they could likely gain acceptance to a much more selective college than is associated with some of the BSMD programs to which they are applying. Most students, since they must complete the common application as a part of this process anyway, decide to apply to their CHOP choice selective colleges in addition to BSMD programs. This means students must compose two stellar applications, the common college application and the medical school application required of each medical school. Then, once the student knows where he or she has been accepted, he may decide to go the traditional route, which might afford the opportunity to go to a top-notch college rather than the lower-ranked college that might be part of a combined program. For a focused student who knows he or she wants to go to medical school, accelerated programs can be the perfect fit. However, 
For the student who isn't 100% sure or who wants to have more space and time to explore other interests, a more traditional route might be a better choice. The successful BSMD applicant must be able to present a narrative that convinces the reader or interviewer of a well-developed interest in medicine together with stellar academics, exceptional maturity, and achievements both on paper as well as during the medical school interview process. For more information on how competitive the accelerated application process is, be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit mededits.com to sign up for a free 15-minute consultation. Good luck in the college and BSMD application process.